Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I will give you a brief overview on the Mod 22 changes. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see more information over about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So, um, yeah, Mod 22 has hit preview and I guess a lot of people have already been logging on. If you have not logged on, make sure to sit back, relax and see what's coming on. Um, so let me get the first big thing out of the way. Uh, that is the trial. There is going to be a new trial in this mod. It is not available yet on preview, so I cannot say much about it. So yeah, we'll have to wait uh, on that one. I will, uh, of course, make a video about the trial later on when it's available. Um, and of course, I will again explain all of the mechanics, give you a full guide on this trial. Next up, we also have a new map. I haven't unlocked it yet. Um, it is called Dragonbone Veil. And you have to be 45,000 item level to get there. Um, there's obviously new heroics, as always, small ones and big ones. Uh, and there's also a new mechanic with a grappling hook. Uh, I'm not going to show you this, this is just an overview, um, but yeah, we had some hints towards Dragon Ball Vill and F Echoes of Prophecy. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting transition that we haven't seen before, as far as I know. Um, then we get to the big, big, big one, uh, and that is the Enchantment Rework. Um, if you log on to Preview, or whenever you uh, get into Mod 22 anyway, uh, you will notice that you will have email. Uh, actually, before that, you will get some pop-ups that you have gotten new enchantments. And if you go to your character sheet, you can see that now you have two tabs here on your character. Um, you have gear and enhancements, and whoop, you will get a whole bunch here of new enchantments that uh, you had before. Sure. Um, and this is an enchantment per main stat. So you have a Cursey, Common Advantage, Critical Strike, Power, Critical Avoidance, Awareness, Deflect, Defense, Forte. You have a simple combat enchantment and you have an action point gain enchantment. And these, if you hover over them, you will see remaining lifetime. It's just for a week. So you get these for a week. Uh, and you might say, wait a minute where are my normal enchantments and why do these not have slots what the hell is going on so that's the thing the enchantments have been removed from the gear the enchantment slots and also the overload slots and the armor um, enchantment slot and also the weapon enchantment slot everything is removed from gear and it's moved into this enhancements overview your enchantments, they didn't disappear, the game didn't eat them, they're actually in this mail that you see here. So if you go to the Postal Courier and you pick up these Lost and Found mails, you see you ha I have some, uh, apparently some of these wards in my overload slots. Uh, that's it. Oh, that was probably in some gear that I had in my bank. So everything that you had in gear, either on your player or in the bank, and I don't know why they don't stack anymore, but everything that you had on your gear, either on your player self or in the bank, will now be in this mailbox. Uh, and in my case, I think it was all rank 15 stuff. Um, by the way, just to note, uh, but this is very important, but this is also true for your companion gear. All right, remember that. Uh, so instead we get a new kind of enchantment and these are temporary and there's going to be different ones that you can pick. Um, your old enchantments, they do not go in here. They don't fit, uh, they will not work, they don't go here. So what do you do with these enchantments? Um, well, you can swap them in. Uh, and you can swap them in at the antiquities vendor so your enchantments are actually obsolete whenever you go to preview they're obsolete um, i'm going to show you real quick how much you get for them um, because that's also important 
if you go to this antiquity antiquities vendor here, if I can antiquity scholar, you can go to the refinement tab where you can see all the enchantments. Um, I have one of each rank, uh, so the um, you can buy one medallion for four thousand eighty, but don't do that. Um, you can exchange them from rank ten and higher. So everything below rank ten. You cannot exchange, you get nothing for it. Um, so that's very important to know. All the enchantments below rank 10 are basically refinement points. Uh, you can still change them to refinement points. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I can see here right now. I cannot, well, I cannot uh, send. Oh, okay, that's because they're protected. Never mind. <laughs> I, was, I got a little bit scared for a second. Yeah, so uh, everything below rank 10 is basically refinement points. Um, you can exchange them. A rank 10 will give you... Uh, so this is the rank 10. You will give you one enchantment medallion. A rank 11 will give you two. A rank 12 will give you four medallions. A rank 13 will give you eight. A rank 14 will give you 12. And every rank 15 enchantment that you have will give you 20 enchantment medallions. Um, so, what I'm going to do here right now, it's uh, really, really odd to think about it, but I'm just going to exchange all of my rank 15 medallion, uh, all of my rank 15 enchantments, which I already had. I'm going to exchange them for... Well, I'm, I'm actually not going to do that right yet, because I also want to show you the weapon and armor enchantments, which you can also exchange now. Uh, I also have here a... Wait, this is... 11, 12, 13, where's the rank 10? thought I also had a rank 10 here somewhere. I have a rank 9, rank 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that's 11. I guess I cannot exchange this life drinker. Great. So uh, the rank 11 goes for 30 enchantments, uh, for 30 medallions. So this is the same category of... Um, Currency, you get 30 for this. Uh, the rank 12 will give you 50. The rank 13 will give you 80. And every rank 14 enchantment or uh, so weapon enchantment or armor enchantment will give you 120 of these medallions. So also in this case, I'm going to exchange my rank 40 negation for 120 medallions. Here we go. And then I'm going to exchange also my Vorpal here that I have a rank 14 for 120 medallions. So let's go back here. Now you can see I have 240 of these medallions. And I'm gonna exchange all my uh, assassins. All of my darks. And what is this? Why do I have a radiant enchantment here? And a Tenebrous I have here. Was I using a Radiant? I don't know. But also my Indomitables. So also your Rune Stones. You can also exchange for the same uh, value. So rank 15 um, Indomitable Rune Stone will give you 20 Enchantment Medallions. And I guess I had also a... Radiant on my gear. Okay, let's exchange that as well. Because everything else is a non-rank 15 and I didn't have it. And I want to show you this because um, if you exchange all of your enchantments if, that you had at rank 15, um, that's the only thing you can do with it, ex except for also, I guess, uh, trade on the auction house or, uh, or sell it. Um, you will need to get new enchantments for that. Because these are temporary. Um, you need four offense enchantments, four defense enchantments, one utility, um, one combat enchantment, which is the new weapon or armor enchantment. You can only slot one of the two, and not both anymore. And one bonus enchantment. And once I buy these packs, you will notice, uh, you will see what is meant by each of these categories. Um, so let's go back in. Oh yeah, and um, of course I also need to buy a uh, companion enchantment. Because that one is also temporary. Uh, so let's go to um, here. 
Uh, as, as you can see, this is the combat companion enchantment choice pack. This is a rank 4, so this is the maximum. You should buy two of these, definitely. So always buy two of these. And the rest, uh, you have uh, rank 1 choice packs and rank 2 choice packs for enchantments. Um, so here you also have a rank 3 combat uh, and companion enchantment pack. These do not have the regular enchantments. Uh, so the offense, defense, utility, and bonus. For that, you will need to buy these here. So if we spent all of our credits that we got from the gear that we had before, you can see that we can buy eight of these enchantments. All right, let's go. Um, so we, we got eight, and we need eight, nine, ten. So we are missing... Two enchantments uh, out of all of this. Um, fair to say that one of these enchantments is a lot more item level than the old ones. The old ones were 200 each and if you look at these here, uh, these are 600 each. So each one of these is three times as much as a rank 15 enchantment and they also cost three times as much. So I guess it's kind of fair. You just get some extra slots that you can fill in. Um, the combat and uh, companion enchantment packs, uh, you will see here the new weapon, armor and companion enchantments. Uh, so the first three are basically defensive combat enchantments. So here you have the choice be between a defensive one or an offensive one. Uh, soul shield is basically soul forged, uh, but it also reduces damage reduction, uh, increases damage reduction by 8%. I'm not sure if the, did soul forge also do it? It, I don't really remember anymore. I have to look at the pocket wiki for that. Um, but yeah, this is Soul Shield. I don't think it did, by the way. Uh, here we have Fortified Nature, which is a new negation e um, thingy. And Flash Freeze, I think it is um, Frost, Frost Enchantment. A Frost Fire. I'm not sure what the name was, but the defensive uh, Frost Enchantment. A soul shield, of course, revives you. This one, um, when you get damage once per second, your defense awareness and deflect goes up, and then you get healed if you have five stacks or something like that. Um, flash freeze will um, apply a slow and re reduce the damage um, of the target. Uh, let me see if I read this correct. You have to apply a slow and the reduced outgoing damage to the target. So this is outgoing damage for everyone. Um, so if you get hit, you can re actually reduce the damage that the target is doing to the whole group. So that's also not bad, um, to say the least. Uh, then we have three offensive enchantments. So we don't have the 12, 13. I don't remember how many we had, but we had a lot of defensive enchantments here. Uh, and we only have three offensive en enchantments as well. We have Cursed Burn, which I think was the Plague Fire um, enchantment. Uh, this one increases damage by 8%. These all uh, reduce damage by 8%, so it increases damage reduction by 8%. It's all the same, so that base. And these all increase damage by 8%. Uh, this one has a kind of a Plague Fire effect. This one has a Bile Thorn effect. You can see it also here. And this one has a Holy Avenger effect, some, I think. I might be totally wrong with that one. But yeah, you only have a choice of this. This is it. Um, good to note is that um, the magnitudes are quite down. Uh, but in return, if you look at the top, the item levels of these enchantments are... 4,000 and that's not even the maximum that these go to uh, So for a DPS, I'm going here for the Balthorn for now. I haven't really looked at it really well uh, But I'm going for this one and for my second one I am going for a companion enhancement and this one uh, Will give you your companion if you have an active companion 120% companion damage or it will give 6,000 extra stats to all of the Arkman bonus stats um, and I can explain that a little bit. Um, if we take... Uh, no, not mounts. Companions. Summon another. If we have a bullet pup, for example. Um, this one... Let's remove this. This one gives bonus stats 
in, let me see if I can see it. Why is this not visible? Oh, it's because of the gear. Let me remove the gear real quick. So this one gives extra defense, combat advantage and power. If I then slot this campaign, interesting that it still says bonding rune zone. If I slot this one, uh, these three stats should go up by 6,000 and it does. So that is what it does. It gives you basically 18,000 extra stats. Oh, wrong one. Uh, 18,000 extra stats. The one you get free, by the way, it will do exactly the same thing, but only for a week. So keep that in mind. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah. So let's also put our pile thorn in. I guess I have to remove this first. So this is going to pump... Is this also 4,000? This doesn't give item level. Do these all not give item level? They do. These do. Okay, but this is 4,000 item level. So you will see, actually, that your item level is increased significantly. I think it was 57k on life, and now I'm 64k. So that's a big jump. Um, and then we have also these rank 2 enchantment packs. And as I said before, these are 600 item level. That's three times as much as the old rank 15s. And these also give a lot more stats, of course, than the old ones. So these enchantments are a lot more potent than they were before. The bad thing is, uh, for the offense, defense, and utility, we have a choice out of five enchantments. So the choice is a lot less. We only have single stat enchantments. Uh, so, yeah. And we have a lot less slots. So, pick wisely here. Uh, then... Uh, so this is also for utility, by the way. Uh, so these are all offense, defense, utility. A choice out of five. Um, then we have bonus enchantments. You can see here. These go in here. And here you have also the lower versions of the combat enchantments. And the companion enhancement. But I definitely would not pick them here in this box or the rank three. If you can, buy the rank four box. Because that's just a lot, a lot more uh, bang for buck. Um... So yeah, I'm not going to pick these right now, uh, that's balancing, and of course I will also uh, apply this on the character build and stuff like that. Um, we're going to go there. Uh, and here you can also put your overloads, of course. The only thing that's left slotted in your gear is the armor kits. And I understand that because armor kits are linked to gear. Um, they, they're they actually put into gear, so if you put a different gear piece, you get a different... Um, Armor kit. And. Alright. So one important extra thing to note here. Actually. Yeah. One, one very important extra thing. Alright. So let's talk something really, really important. Um, a couple months ago. Bonding rune stones were removed from the game. Well they were not completely removed. But they were made obsolete. You couldn't slot them anymore here. Um, it's it's funny enough that when you unslot this, that I saw bonding here, and now it, now it doesn't show up anymore. But whatever. Uh, but bondings were not uh, usable anymore. What we got instead was an exchange for bonding rune stones to astral diamonds, and that was pretty significant. A lot of people uh, made a lot of AD out of that. And actually, bonding rune stones are not completely dead. There is a lot of bonding rune stones still flowing around, and people are still upgrading them and generating a lot of AD out of them. And they do that by trading them in. So if we go into this Antiquity Scholar, we actually see that this trade in for bonding rune stones is gone. Uh, it's not there anymore. You cannot trade it in for bonding rune stones. Instead, very nicely, these, uh, I have 99 here right now, but you can exchange these now also for 20 enchantment medallions. So these bomb rune stones that are worth 2.6 million refined AD are now worth the same as a regular rank 15 enchantment. So if you want to get your AD out of these bondings, Make sure to exchange them before mod 22 drops. Get rid of them. Really, really important. 
otherwise you lose so much AD. Maybe good to note one. Uh, or maybe I have, I have two more things actually. So uh, let's go to the Sage Store. So let's say if you don't have anything to trade in, maybe you don't have um, a gem as yet, or you're new to the game. That could also be. Uh, if that is the case, you can buy rank one enchantments here at Brada Sage Store for basically one uh, day worth of refinement. So you can buy these basic enchantments at rank one. Uh, if you can trade in your enchantments and get rank twos, I would highly suggest going that way uh, because these are um, pretty tricky to upgrade. And I'll show you that right now. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to do that next. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, actually, is we have here, when we traded in our uh, armor and weapon enchantment, we got these illusions. Um, and you can see in the text, it, it says, it's an illusion for your armor, it's an illusion for your weapon. So what you can do with these, if you go to appearance, you have these visual effects here. And you can put your negation in here and also your vorpal uh, and then it should yeah so now you can see that the visual effects are actually applied to your weapon um, so the visual effect is separated now from the combat effect um, and you get this illusion for every weapon and armor and gem you exchange so it doesn't have to be a rank 14 also, a rank 10 weapon enchantment will give you uh, these illusions uh, if you can trade them in. So I, I had this, um, let me see, I had this life drink, I think, that I couldn't exchange. Um, I will show you guys all of these illusions in a different video. Uh, this is just to give you a brief overview so uh, you, you know that this is also here. All right, let's go to the refinement changes uh, and that's where I will uh, guide you through with this one here for example so if we go to upgrade an enchantment we actually have a totally new generic screen for refining um, and this is the screen uh, you can see to upgrade one of these um, enchantments that we can get we need refinement points a hundred thousand for rank 1 to rank 2 so uncommon to rare we need these glyphs of potency and we need a bit of gold. Uh, and you might think, okay, where are the marks of potency and enchanting stones? Hmm. Good question. Um, let me go get some glyphs. Uh, you can get them actually in the uh, Wondrous Bazaar. So if we go here to adventuring, you can buy these for 50,000 um, base. So let's just buy 99. They're very cheap actually. The not cheap part of this is um, the fact that these have a 0% chance to upgrade. That's a little bit unfair, right? Um, so we have to use uh, either a coalescent mode. What the hell is that? Uh, well, actually, these coalescent modes, they used to be coalescent wards. Uh, and they still get the chance to 100%. Uh, there are alternatives for these modes. Uh, so you don't have to have a um, coalescent ward for it. You also have primitive modes here. But the problem with these is, uh, and I think they're not actually viable, the problem with these is that they increase your chance by 1%. 1%. So you have, yeah, exactly. Um, here you also have some slots, and you can use these slots to actually protect specific reagents with your preservation ward. So if you say, I want to make sure that uh, I don't lose one of these reagents, maybe I'm, I'm really care about these glyphs of potency, I can put preservation wards here. Uh, let's, let's put three here, I don't care. And now this reagent is protected. Um, the thing is, if you don't protect anything, and you only have a mode here, if you fail your upgrades, you will lose not all three of these reagents, but only one. So now let me show you that. Try once. I failed, of course, and I lost five gold. I didn't lose 100,000 refinement points. 
I didn't lose the Glyphs of Potency, just the gold. Um, and if I protect something here, let's just put all seven here, and the random picker of what I what I uh, lose picks this Glyph of Potency, I will use a Preservation Ward. If it picks the gold, I will not use the Colors of uh, Preservation Ward. So let's also show that. Here we uh, went, it went for the Glyph of Potency, but it's protected. And now I still have seven Preservation Wards. Wait a minute. I went again for this one. I still have seven. Is that true? No, I have five. Okay, this doesn't up update. Yeah, this is actually five. Minus two out of five. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're, you're using preservation was and but if it picks something else I actually lost gold and a preservation ward. Okay, that's interesting. So what if I protect two things put two here and two here What if it goes for the gold do I lose two preservation wards? I do. Wow. That is actually a really big nerf to preservation wards. Um, so basically for upgrading, these modes, I don't think they're viable. Um, the thing is, we have um, the uncommon modes and we have here mythic modes. There probably is something in between. Um, you probably can get rare modes epic modes and legendary modes which have a different increase of chance so the, the, yeah these are useless but maybe a rare mode will give you five or ten percent and epic 20 or 25 something like that legendary maybe 50 and then you have this one for a hundred percent but um in general you're going to need these coalescent modes which again are coalescent wards so let me upgrade this one. So you can see here we need these three things. We don't need any marks or enchanting stones. Uh, if we upgrade this, then uh, we again only need these three things. We can upgrade again. But why am I using... Oh, it also showed this one. Uh, then again, I'm using these three things. Uh, 300,000 refinement points here, 5 glyphs of potency and 15 golds. And now we're at Legendary, uh, and you can see that we can actually now get our enchantments to Mythic. Uh, and the step to Mythic, of course, is the um, the last step, uh, where we use 400,000 refinement points, 6 Glyphs of Potency, and 20 gold. So let's also do that. Yeah, choose this one also. And rank 5 is the final spot, the final rank. Um, interesting of this screen is that you can actually pick here something that you want to upgrade. Um, so for example, I can pick a color and now we're at the colors. Uh, let me actually check because I notice that the epic shards are gone, but I, I'm i pretty sure they're going to go come back. So let me look at the legendary, this is the hundred. Yeah, so we still have the Insignia Power, the Greater Shards, which are of course the most expensive um, part of the upgrade. Um, but yeah, I think this still has to be adapted. I'm pretty sure that these used refinement points as well. Uh, so these upgrades are changed a bit. Um, but yeah, the most expensive parts are still in here. And I think the Epic Shards are also coming back here. Otherwise, they don't really have a use. Maybe to upgrade lower level shard uh, colors. But yeah, refinements. Yeah, that's that's basically refinement in a nutshell. Um, big change. One last thing that I want to show. One second. So very important to note. We are here at the pocket pocket wiki. I have the upgrades here, and of course these are now obsolete because yeah, weapon armor and enchantments they don't go to rank 14 anymore they go to rank 5 i can also show that real quick later uh, in a second and these enchantments they have yeah we don't have these ranks anymore so these both are not valid anymore so i can make them red here 
these are not valid anymore. If we do that, we notice, hmm, where are we gonna use Enchanting Stones rank 6? It's not in the enchantment upgrades, we just did those, all of those, and they're not used there. So we can also take a look at the weapon arm enchantments. Uh, I can get, just to show you guys, a rank 1. Let's take this one. And if I upgrade this one, again, it uses refinement points, glyphs of potency, and gold. So let's upgrade this. At the next step, again, the same. Refinement points, glyphs, and gold. Again, the same. And you already see a trend here, I guess. There's, again, no enchanting stones and no marks of potency here. So they're totally gone from your armor weapon enchantments, which are now combat enchantments, so let's call them that. And also from your regular enchantments. They're not there anymore. So, having said that, enchantments, enchanting stones rank 6 are basically dead. They're not useful anywhere. Um, same for Marks of Potency rank 7, you're not gonna use them anymore. Marks of Potency rank 6, you're not gonna need them anymore. Marks of Potency rank 5, you're not gonna need them anymore. Marks of Potency rank, rank 4, okay, you need for artifacts, but how many artifacts are you actually upgrading? Most people buy these for your weapon enchantments, not for artifacts. So Marks of Potency rank 4 will also decrease in value dramatically. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that all of a sudden have become a lot less interesting to get. Actually, also these enchanting stones rank 5. Well, yeah, how many artifact gear and weapons are you going to upgrade? Typically not that many, so you're not going to use that many of these anymore. For these, you actually use them a lot. So yeah, even these enchanting stones rank 5 and maybe even rank 4, yes, you're using them for your artifacts and gear, but how much are you actually upgrading there? So enchanting stones, some you don't need at all anymore and some you need a lot less. So the value of them, uh, those stones and also the marks of potency is going to drop. Also really important to note. Alright, I think that's finally it for the refinement changes. Let's look at some of the gear changes because that's also really important. Uh, if we go here to Dragonbone Veil, we can see the new gear. Um, and you can see that these... Uh, let me actually see the artifact equipment. These are the old weapons. I think they are also raised in item level. Uh, Avernus. This lion heart. Is this the same as before? 1200? I think it was 1200, right? Celestial. I think these were 1300 and now they're 1400. Um, but very interesting about these new weapons um, weapons of the veil uh, they have a much higher item level and this is not to make your regular weapons immediately obsolete if you look at this weapon it's pretty bad the bonus so even though it's 1700 item level you're not going to use them but there is actually another reason why these new weapons have such an increase in item level and uh, the reason for that is artifact modifications if you go to the old weapons uh, for example mirage which is here level uh, item level 800 we actually have artifact modifications here we can have this enhanced aim shot aim strike on here uh, which increases your damage and also on the offhand, we have modifications. We can have this uh, um, extra stats that we can put on here. And we have an additional um, artifact modification, which also gives some stats. The new weapons, and I don't know why we're going back to there, but the new weapons actually do not have this. So here you don't have artifact modifications anymore. They're removed from this gear. 
Um, so yeah, that's why these are so much higher than uh, the old pieces. Um, we can see that we have three sets here, antique. Uh, the antique set, we have the fortified set, and we have the Grand Alliance set. Uh, the antique set you get from basically notes on the new map. I will go over that uh, in, a, in another video. Uh, fortified bows you can get uh, from the campaign. And I think those are upgraded versions of these. So they also have, they have the same bonus. They have also an upgraded bonus. Um, and these here, I actually don't know anymore how to get them. I forgot. Uh, but yeah, all sets, much higher item level. Then... Uh, we also have legendary gear here. We have legendary gloves, item level 1800. Um, I'm not going over all of the pieces individually. There are some interesting pieces in here that give interesting bonuses. Of course, this is all subject to change. Um, but the basic story is the item level is going to go up drastically for a lot of stuff. So here we have uh, also some more gear that you can buy from seals seal gear is also 1600 item level then we have companion gear also increase and uh, this is uh, still rings yeah this is all the rings they're 1300 item level so that's not massively higher than we have already we have pants and shirts a lot of them uh, which you can also farm on the map they're not difficult to get it's just that there are a lot of them um, but these are easy to farm um, and they have pretty decent bonuses uh, as well. Then we have Companion Gear. Companion Gear here is 14 on item level. Um, the fact that we don't have slots here anymore on these this Companion Gear is actually nice. So you, you're not bothered by any defense uh, slots uh, where you want double offense typically. So that, that's the nice part of having the slots removed from here. So now you can freely choose what you want. Um, so yeah, all 1400. I think this is again higher than we had before. Uh, we have a new artifact set, the Methalar set. Um, raw pressure, do an additional hit for 100 magnitude damage when you deal combat advantage damage. Um, so that sounds really good. Um, it, uh, this artifact also has a bonus that it reduces the target's damage resistance. Uh, this is, of course, the uncommon version. Uh, at Mythic, I think it reduces damage resistance by 15%. Uh, we can actually see that it artifacts, right? Let me see... 15%, yes. So not, not um, very... Okay. I think we were here. Um, what else do we have here? Fashion and transmute, so uh, we also have legendary fashion, legendary fashion, which you can get in the campaign store. Uh, again, I'm going to go over the campaign, the new campaign, which is also there, which is again time gated and stuff like that. I will go over that in a different video. Um, so let me wrap this up because the video is getting pretty long uh, right now. Uh, so lots of changes to our current situation um i think in general the fact that we have separated the enchantments and also uh, the weapon enchantments and your overload slots from gear for me this is a good thing and this is this is multiple reasons we now can swap gear without having to swap our enchantments all over again uh and that typically cost gold actually when you remove things here now it doesn't cost gold so I can put something in here uh, okay that one I can't and I can remove it without it costing gold uh, let me see do I have uh, if I put this one here and I remove it is it doesn't cost gold so that's nice um, this also means that loadouts now will work a lot better uh, because typically when you change a loadout and your artifact set changes because of that or your weapons change, you have to reslot your enchantments in your new gear. Um, or, or you have to have duplicate sets, which is of course inconvenient. 
So now these will just swap along with your loadout. Really convenient because of that, because of that. Um, the negative part is of course choice. We now have only five enchantments where we had many, many enchantments before. We can go back to the pocket wiki. If we go to enchantments here, um, we had a lot of choice, really a lot of choice. Um, and that is true for the offense, defense, and gems, also for utility. Uh, so now we also, for utility, we only have incoming healing, forte, control resistance, outgoing healing, and control bonus. We don't have quartermaster gems anymore. They're gone. Um, that's, by the way, another tip before I close this video. If you have quartermaster bags, open them before mod 22 drops. Because, as you probably know, if you have Quartermaster Bags, you want to open them when you have higher than 10.5% chance to uh, drop a Quartermaster Bag. If you don't have that, I don't have Quartermaster Bags here, I think. No, I don't. But if you don't have those 10.5%, which I cannot physically slot anymore, you will drop, uh, drop a pretty much crap. If you don't have these 10.5% anymore, you pretty much drop crap. Uh, Dragon Ward enchantment, of course, doesn't work anymore. Uh, Fae, um, yeah, you don't have RP enchantments anymore. They're just gone. So, that's a little bit of a shame. We have less choice, uh, and choice for me is always good. Uh, also, at the common enchantment, yes, it gives a lot more item level now actually at um, a mythic it gives uh, 5000 item level now which is pretty crazy and also 10% damage increase um, so yeah if you go to scaled content this one is flying out of the uh, slot of course very quickly uh, but yeah 5000 item level uh, but the the problem is just choice we only have three armor enchantments and three weapon enchantments or I should say Defensive combat champions and offensive combat champions. We only have three of each. So that's just a shame uh, Also here we can only choose to either increase our companion damage, which is logical if you have a, a, a fighter companion, but we cannot get um, specific stats anymore from our rune stones. so in the past we could get some critical avoidance on our rune stones or I don't know some extra power it, that's just not possible. You can only get extra stats for the stats that your um, augment gives. So the bonus stats from the augment. So that limits the freedom of your build. I don't like that part. Um, so then we have refinement changes. Uh, the merging of refinement items into a glyph of potency, which we see with all the upgrades. Can we upgrade this as well? No, we cannot. So that's a good thing because these are temporary. So the the fact that all of these upgrades now use this glyph of potency, for me, in principle, that is fine. The problem, however, is the way that it's now proposed to be rolled out, because once again, we can go back to the pocket wiki and we'll see that a lot of reagents are not dead. And this definitely is not okay. So I cannot find the upgrade page anymore here and uh, so pretty much these are dead these are these are dead anyway but the mark policy rank 4 also is dead right now we also have a wondrous bizarre discount if you have vip and a wondrous bizarre discount do not buy these marks absolutely stop buying these marks you're gonna lose money these are gonna drop in price people do not want to buy these anymore i guess you can but sell them for the minimum price where you break even, but that's basically it. Enchantment stones rank six. I have no idea what what they want to do with this. Rank fives, you don't have to farm them anymore. It's just not necessary. That is the way that it's rolled out, as it stands now. For me, is not okay. Then we have the uh, artifact modifications out of weapons. Uh, I, I find it interesting that the old ones do have the artifact modifications and the new ones do not. 
I find that a little bit off because right now I this is 10% extra damage on specific um, powers that I use a lot but uh, and here we get extra stats so it's gonna be a tricky one whether or not I need to replace my Mirage or Lionheart weapons which are very good uh, maybe the trial weapons will blow them out of the park but they will not have these extra stats anymore. I do understand, I guess, why they remove these stats here, because these are stats without item level. So this is just stats that you get, and it's not linked to any item level, which I guess doesn't really fit in the system anymore properly. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit weird. I, I don't really care that they remove it, but I think they should have removed it from all of the sets and then increase their item level, I guess, to compensate. Although that will lower your stats again. Uh, but yeah, you get hit points and tricky. Um, as for the gear, we haven't looked through all of the gear necessarily, but in my opinion, if you look through it, and I will do that also at some point, um, it might still change, of course. But there's, there's some nice bonuses, that's one. And I also like that we have a lot more item level on gear. Um, maybe a lot of people don't agree with this, but in my opinion, we should have a lot more item level and our damage should be more based on item level because I think the system is meant to do that. Of course, the negative part of that is that it's going to be a lot harder to cap your stats. You're not going to be 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90 anymore. That's going to be a lot harder to get when your item level, it might go up to um, 80,000 if you have everything maxed. I think, I think about 80,000 and maybe higher, probably higher is possible because I have some, yeah, these are 2,000 lower um, and these rings are also bad and these are not upgraded yet. Uh, so I think you can get 80 to 85,000 now. And of course, that's going to make it more tricky to to um, to cap your stats. And you also have your defensive stats going to be lower. So I like that the system is being made more difficult to optimize. Um, of course, I'm going to be working on making that easier again because of course this whole system will be integrated in the character builder i am working on that already uh, i released the last mod 21 version of the character builder today uh, so if you haven't got that yet get that also also uh, but i will be working on making this here happen in the character builder as well and i will even take it one step further i'm going to move the uh, armor kits also to a separate page so Whenever you change gear, you will not have to re-slot everything else. So, uh, I, I have had that question before. Anyway, I think... Yeah, this this not having everything maxed anymore... I think I, I might not be... I'm very likely not, the, uh, not uh, uh, gonna be agreeing with everyone there. But for me, it's a lot more fun if you have to make choices here. And it's not obvious. Um, yeah, I have already maxed it, so I'm gonna work on something else. And that that shouldn't be the case. And the fact that your item level is much higher will also penalize your defensive stats. Maybe you have to work on this a little bit now. Um, but we will see all about that. How that is going to pan out in the future. Um, I'm going to leave it at this because again, the video is getting very very long. Anyway, if you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to do next, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.